So today we are going to be putting all of the videos together in, well not all of them, but 5 through 9 is going to be in this last video. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm running into crunch time here. I have some other projects that have deadlines that I have to finish and I wanted to go ahead and just put this on this, uh, this last video for you. And so it's going to be all in here. So all you have to do is actually go into the description and there will be links to each day. So you don't have to scroll through and try to find it. Okay. So let's get started. So today is day five and we are working with the goddess Durga as we have been all week. And what we're doing today is we're working on self care, uh, protecting our inner nature and loving ourselves. And this is really important because it is the fundamental space for manifestation. It's so important that you're not having negative thoughts. You are not criticizing yourself during this time. You're not saying I'm not worthy of the things that I desire. We want to get into the space of being worthy, feeling love for yourself. And so all this week, I have given you the tools. I've said, create an altar, set an intention, put that intention in a sacred place. Every day, say an affirmation, light a candle, sit in front of your altar, do a meditation. And as you've done these meditations each day, you've seen that each one of them are similar in nature. However, you're actually just focusing on the topic that we're talking about. So what I'd like you to do today is try it on your own, okay? You know what to do now. You light your candle, you set your intention. You know today is about self-care. So let's go over that real quick. So some of the things that you might want to do is create the affirmation. I nurture my intentions with care, love, ensuring their growth. So what does that mean? I nurture my intentions. Wow. So nurturing your intentions. So we set the intentions on day one of the things that you wanted to manifest. But if you're not nurturing them, you're not saying, I deserve this. This is, this intention is going to make my life better. It's going to make me better. It's going to make my family better. It's good for me. It's good for my well-being. It's good for my family. It's good for my life. And you just keep on giving it back love, you know, like nurture. What does nurture look like when you're nurturing somebody that's going through something? What do you do? If somebody doesn't believe in themselves and you nurture them, you you show them all the reasons why that they're strong enough to do it. So today, I'm just going to put some music on, okay? I know you know how to do this. You just close your eyes, take a deep breath, put yourself into that space, give yourself that affirmation, and just feel it, imagine it, and create it within your mind. So let's do it now.
is day six. Again, I am going to allow you to grow from this and do it on your own. So I'm going to give you the pointers here. Make sure that you go to your altar. You set your intention. You light a candle. You put something on your altar that represents the intention that you're putting out. You know what you're trying to manifest and there's things inside of you that you need to work on. So today we're working with the aspect of Durga that's represented as Katyani. Now with this aspect, you, it is associated with courage and power. Now, this is my favorite one because this really gives you that fierce courage and willpower and it tackles your fears and your limitations and you know the boldness and to take action to manifest things in your life so the affirmation that you're gonna get today is I act with courage and embrace bold steps in manifesting my desires so what you're gonna do just like I did yesterday, I'm going to put some music on for you. You're going to sit in meditation after you've lit in your candle and you're sitting in front of your altar and perhaps you have a picture of the goddess Durga in front of you and you're going to be focusing on the feelings of being fierce and courageous and having all this willpower and you're just going to feel it inside of you. Now, if this is a new feeling, let's say you're a very passive person, maybe you are a Pisces or something, and you're just a very gentle, quiet kind of nature, what I want you to do is think of somebody that is like that and imagine yourself as that person. Just feel what it would feel like to feel those feelings. So if you have felt that feeling before in your life, just recall that feeling, bring it to mind, and then hold on to it while you're meditating, okay? So, how do we meditate? Same way we've been meditating all along. You bring yourself into that space, the long deep breaths, and then you focus on your intention. Okay, let's meditate. Seven. 
So today we are focusing on the goddess Durga coming into the form of Kayla Raitri, which represents transformation and inner strength. This part of the goddess, what she does is she helps remove the negativity and the darkness from your life and helps you transform and let go of negativity. The key themes here is about releasing and letting go, embracing transformation, inner strength. So your affirmation for today is, I let go of what no longer serves me, transforming into my highest self. So what are we gonna do? Remember, you set your intention, you light your candle, you know what you're gonna manifest, you're focusing on that. You take in some long deep breaths. You put some, you know, before you take in the long deep breath, sorry. <laughs> you put some items on your altar that represent transformation. What does that look like to you? What does that mean? Maybe you have a picture of the thing that you want in your life, or maybe you have a picture of what part of you needs to transform. So let's say uh, that you find a picture that represents that transformation within you. Maybe it's um, to become hopeful and happy and fulfilled. And so maybe you find a picture of some people jumping around like, you know, super happy. That's up to you. This is all your altar, your will, okay? Now, what's important here is that you need to understand that this is about you. It's not about anybody else. It's not what anybody tells you you should do. This is about what you feel you need and all of this, it's just, you're just putting this stuff in front of you to represent what you need, okay? So, if, um, if you're trying to manifest riches or any of that kind of stuff, what does it look like? So print something out and put it on the table and put it in a frame and look at it and gaze at it. And then imagine the goddess coming down, taking in a couple of deep breaths, start your meditation, and focus on your intention of, of transforming through power within yourself about the ultimate feeling. You notice uh, these are getting a little stronger each time. And this is really about like that complete transformation for your highest self that's releasing the impurities and focusing on what's gonna be good for you. So, feel that transformation, feel that inner strength, and focus on that transformation that's happening within you, okay? So, I'm gonna put a little music on. Again, I'm gonna leave it to you to be able to do this meditation by yourself. You've had lots of practice, you know, go into that space.
Goddess Durga, and today we are working with the form that she comes in as called Morhagiri. And in this form, she is actually coming down in her purest form. And I love this because the Goddess Durga is all about purification. She's all about bringing you into enlightenment and your highest good, your highest self. And Today, she's going to be focusing on that with you. Today is the day of renewal. This is the day it's about purity and renewal and manifesting requires clearing out those old energies to bring in the new. This is about elevating your consciousness, purifying the energy and creating space for new blessings. So the affirmation that we're going to be using is I am renewed in spirit spirit welcoming new energy for my manifestations okay so like I said before light your candle put in front of you anything that represents renewal and purity and bring yourself into that space where you just take in a long deep breath and you focus on your intention to renew and purify. I'm gonna put some music on and allow you to go into that space. day of manifesting and today again we're working with the goddess Durga as she comes in form of Siddhadatri and today we are focusing on our last day our last day where we are focusing on fulfillment and attainment this is about making it happen okay so the goddess 
grant you blessings and fulfillment. This is the day that she says, okay, these nine days you've worked really hard, you prayed, you've cleansed out everything, you've gotten rid of your negativity and you've purified your soul. And so now I'm going to bring you your blessing. This is a time to express your gratitude and affirm that your intentions throughout these nine days have provided you this open door to manifest these desires. So the goddess offers you these blessings and then you show gratification. So your affirmation today is about being grateful. So I am grateful for the fulfillment of my desires. I trust that all I need is coming. So today, instead of a meditation, we will do a prayer. The prayer is the affirmation. So you're gonna call upon the goddess, you're gonna call upon Durga, and if you don't remember how to do that, you just say her name. Now, in the Hindu culture, they say Ma in front of it, so you're gonna say Ma Durga, and you're gonna say a thank you. I'm offering you this great my gratefulness my appreciation for all the blessings that you're instoring on me thank you for guiding me every single day through this manifestation in my life and thank you for helping me achieve these goals so you say your little prayer you light your candle you say it with all of your heart feeling the feeling of gratefulness and then Get up and dance. And the reason you're dancing is because you're really feeling it. You're like, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it because it's in me. You know, like really feel it. Okay. So the last part of this, we say our affirmation and we say our prayer and, and then we dance before we get into that. Hold on, I forgot something. <laughs> Just to recap, this whole nine days uh, has uh, supported your manifestation, encouraged you to use Navatri as a period of time for introspection, growth, setting powerful intentions and manifesting. And with this energy of the divine presence, I manifest the highest good in my life. That's kind of like the closing thing that you're going to say after you finish everything is with the energy of the divine presence, I manifest the highest good in my life. Now, before we get into all this, just uh, one last thing. You know, some of you guys are catching on to this a little late, okay? <laughs> and so I just want to say this. You can always invoke the spirit, okay? Just because she's here for nine days, it just means it's easier to connect with that energy. If you want to connect with her and you started late, let's say you're starting today, and you're like, ah, oh, I missed out on that energy. No, oh, you can pull that energy in. And the way you do that is the same way in day one, or, um, actually it wasn't day one, it's when I was showing you how to bring down Kali in another video. You get some mala beads, and I'm not even sure if I have some, so I'm gonna have to look here. You get, oh yeah, okay. And they're all twisted up with all my other jewelry. So you get some mala beads, and mala beads that are 108 beads, you're gonna say it 108 times, you're gonna concentrate, and you're going to call upon her, and you're gonna use her name by vibrating it and you're gonna say Ma Durga Ma Durga and you're gonna say it over and over and over and over again and you're gonna drag it out and you're gonna sing it and then when you finish 108 times you're gonna say be here now I invoke thee um, and basically if like I said if you're just starting today or you're starting yesterday or something go through the process of nine days you can still do it, okay? It's not too late. You can still bring that energy down and you can work with her. 
awesome goddess to work with, all about purifying and bringing you into your purpose and highest good. So let's get dancing, okay? <laughs> 